So Google just held a conference where they announced their AI agent builder. In fact, they mentioned the word agent 46 times, 46 times in the single keynote. That's kind of crazy. So let's take a look if it's any good. Google agent builder. Just to get to the agent builder is quite a challenge. So we have to go to Google Cloud. Okay, seems like I've logged in successfully. So let's see. Build and deploy enterprise ready generative AI experiences. Create AI agents using natural language or code first approach. Seems like they're really aiming this to big companies, you know. Let's try it. Console.cloud.google. These URLs are getting crazy. Okay, so you have to go to apps and then create a new app. Search chat recommendations and agent in the bottom right corner select by the way this is crazy because for the region when i tried global because i'm not in the us it didn't let me create an agent all that worked was us so let's try global maybe it works now okay it's promising by the way look at this url vertex ai conversation dot cloud dot google dot com like this looks like a phishing link all right so let's see let's do like a youtube title writer all right now on the right as you can see this is the preview so on the left this is kind of similar to when you're building a gpt on the left you're building it on the right you're testing it so on the right we can select our agent and then the llm now this is very disappointing these are the old llms like i don't know if it's palm 2 or even lambda like these are super bad so i have no clue why they are recommending it and i have no clue why they are not adding gemini 1.5 pro here which is also what they announced at this conference. Today, we're taking Gemini 1.5 Pro into public preview. But let's go with the best model here, Gemini 1.0. Okay, so YouTube title writer, default goal. So let's see. Okay, so we set it goal and instructions. So that's how they broken up the system prompt. All right, so the goal of this agent is obviously write interesting and clickable titles. Okay, instructions. And actually Google gives us some pre-filled text. So let's see. Greet the user, then ask how you can help. Summarize the user's request. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. You can give it a tool and an agent. I guess we can build multi-agent teams like this. So I'll definitely try this. So we can have like a, someone who writes the titles and someone who analyzes the video idea. So let's see. Always write 15 different title variations. Use simple and plain English. Okay. And then after you finish writing all titles, Okay, let's see. Wait, if I do dollar sign agent and then agent name, so we don't have a second agent created, so I cannot do that. Okay, maybe use agent to critique the video idea and then we'll, we're going to fill this in afterwards. Okay, so let's save it again because we have to save all the time. So on the left, you have agents, tools, conversation history and settings. But inside of building the agent, we have basics, which is, you know, name, goal, instructions, and then tools, which only they have code interpreter. And I don't know why we are getting these errors. Oh yeah, because I cannot, okay, you cannot use that without an agent actually. There is a code interpreter, I mean, we can enable it, but it's, <laughs> code interpreter is not supported in your app's location global. Let's go to examples, right? No examples created yet. Each agent should have one or more examples. Remember this, very gl good prompting tip. These are effectively few shot prompts, yeah, exactly. So let's create an example, right? Let's do reading AI books. This is one of the <laughs> videos I want to make. What is this? Selection strategy. But a token limit? Why are they talking about this token limit? I guess, this, yeah, this is the issue. They're using Gemini 1.0. Because Gemini 1.5 Pro has 1 million tokens. So in that case, they should never talk about token limit being reached. Let's just do always, okay? And then we can do display names and we can do great titles. And language, English, obviously. A summary of the agent execution result. Okay, so I'm just going to say here are your title variations. So I just included examples that I personally like. If the agent can produce similar titles, that would be great. Agent state, what is this, man? Okay, canceled. I mean, I don't want my agents getting canceled, that's for sure. Add an action manually, agent utterance. Who in their right mind would choose the word utterance? Google has too many employees. This is so unintuitive, it's crazy. Provide an utterance for this conversation. Okay, it generated something, whatever. I'm gonna delete this. 15 new titles for this video idea. Okay, so it completely ignored my request. I mean, the video idea is about me reading every book and like we have one title, two. Okay, two out of 15 were good. I don't know. Let's just leave this empty probably because I don't want that to mess things up. So now our agent has at least five examples. Let's test out our agent, okay? 
So let's cancel this and let's select the best model and our agent and let's test it out. Help me write new titles for this video idea, ranking free iTools. Sure, I can help you with that. What is the video idea? Is this what everybody was panicking about? Google agents are going to take over the world. Are you sure about that? You know, let me, let me do something. Let's load up a terrible LLM. Let's do Gemma 2 billion. I'm going to give it the same prompt. In fact, I'm not going to even include the examples. Okay, so this is Gemma 2 billion, a really bad, really bad language model. And I'm going to give this prompt. And look at this. Look at the difference. Google agents. Is this all you can do? I already told you the video idea. Uh, okay, let's give it again. Okay, now it works. But these titles are nothing like the examples I gave it. What is this, man? This really feels like talking to GPT-2. Let's add our second agent. Maybe it will get better once we introduce multiple agents, right? So let's go back and let's add a new agent. And this time going to be, it's going to be idea analyst. Okay. Objectively analyze the video idea provided by the user. Avoid politically correct answers at all cost. Whatever, just three metrics that came to mind. Let's save it again. So, okay, we have our idea an analyst saved. Let's go back. Uh, YouTube title writer. Uh, okay, and then we need to insert the agent, right? So dollar sign, agent, idea analyst. Okay, and then save. So this is pretty clear. Let's make it even clearer. Always call, and then let's do agent, idea analyst. Make it ultra clear. That way there is no excuse if it fails, right? So let's reset this, reset conversation. So now we have a blank conversation. Again, I have no clue why they're offering these ancient models. I mean, help me write titles for my next video. Enter. Let's take it, you know, one step at a time. What is your video about? My video is about Sam Altman making open AI open source again. So we have the titles, but it did not call the second agent. I mean, okay, maybe I can see some influence. Like, here is why. This could be influenced by our example, if you go to examples. Okay, I have here is how. So maybe it is influenced a bit. I have no clue, honestly. Let's maybe say, like, now use the idea analyst agent to critique the video idea. What happened? Now use the... Okay, what? Idea analyst. So it did call the second agent. I'm sorry, I can't critique this video idea. I'm not able to access the internet to get the context of the video. Okay, I'm just gonna say you don't need any context, just critique the idea itself. I'm sorry, I can't critique the video idea without any context. I need to know what the video is about. This is wild, guys. The video is about Sam Ochtman making... I'm sorry, I can't critique the video idea. This is terrible. By the way, just to prove that I'm not nitpicking, this is what my friend was able to achieve with Google Agent Builder. I don't like potatoes, right? Okay, I will create a meal, pl meal plan for you that does not include potatoes. Here is a healthy and diverse meal plan for one day, taking into account your preferences. Lunch, salmon with baked potatoes. Another example. I understand you want to avoid potatoes and fish. Is there anything else? No, that's all. And then it creates the diet. Look at this. Look at this. Here is your personalized diet plan. Breakfast, food, snack, food, lunch, food. How is Google expecting any of their enterprise clients to use this? Enterprise ready, by the way, guys, this is enterprise ready. You know, so if you have a company with thousand employees, this is for you. I feel like I'm talking to like a mentally ill person. You don't have to see the video. It's not made yet. I understand. However, I can't critique the video idea without seeing the video itself. I mean, I don't know. If it's really this bad, nobody will use this. And definitely not enterprise clients. I mean, everybody will use Crew AI, LangGraph, Autogen. There is no point in using Google Agent Builder. Like, if you want to actually build working agents, then use Crew AI or Autogen Studio. And if you want to learn how to do that, then check out my six-module workshop on how to build and deploy AI agents, which is available inside of my community. So, if you want to be among people who are building AI agents, we have hundreds of different agent builders, and we have materials, in-depth, step-by-step tutorials that are showing you how to build agents that actually work. If you're interested in that, then make sure to join. It's the first link in the description.